Hi guys, this is a tutorial by Brody Smith from BSN BB Tutorials. Uh, today's tutorial was requested by Brittany2536 and her tutorial request was for us to do a tutorial on the basics of iMovie 11. So before we begin, could you please go up to iMovie Preferences and check Show Advanced Tools. Most Some of the features we'll be using in this tutorial will um, be advanced tools, so please check the show advanced tools button. Okay, so let's just quickly go over the windows. Here you've got your project window. This is where you do most of your clip editing. Here is your preview window. The preview window is where uh, you can preview what are uh, your clips that you've edited in the project window. For example, you can right click and press play and what, your, what you've got in your project window will play in the preview window unless otherwise you click on uh, play full screen or it will uh, take up your whole screen. Down here is your event window where your original clips um, are placed before they are taken into the project window and have begun to be edited. So let's begin by creating a new project by clicking on the project library and clicking on the plus icon or clicking on file and new project. iMovie is built in themes such as photo album, bulletin board, comic book, scrapbook, film strip, news and sports. These are default themes created by Apple. They also include movie trailers uh, for action, adventure, blockbuster, documentary, epic dramas, uh, film noir, Friendship, Holiday, Love Story, Pets, Romantic Comedy, Sports, Spy, and Supernatural, and Travel. So let's start by creating a new project. I'm going to title the project iMovie 11. Sorry about that. You can change your aspect ratio to standard or widescreen. I'd recommend widescreen for modern day televisions or modern day uh, monitors. Here you can change the frame rate. Most uh, the default frame rate is 25 frames per second, but uh, for the video I'll be using today is at 30 frames per second. So I'm going to click 30 frames per second, and I'm going to click on the No theme. Here you can automatically add um, transitions. That means every time uh, you're finished with a clip, it'll add a transition to the next clip. Although you can do this manually, but I'll show you that later on. So let's click on Create. To create an event, click on File, and New Event. Now the default name will be the date of today, which uh, here is the 30th of the 1st, 2011. Now to import your clip, you can either go to File, Import, Movies, and select your clip, or you can open up Finder, and collect your clip. Once your clip is imported into the event window, you can place it into your project window. To do this, you can select a portion of the clip you want by clicking and dragging, or to select the entire clip, right click and select entire clip. Then drag it into your project window. Now to edit your clip, uh, do the same thing as you did before. Say I want to delete uh, this start, the start part up here, where I just want the phone to uh, just come in without having to do uh, the effect where, yeah, I'll show you what I mean, where it flies in. To delete it, uh, drag uh, across the area you would like to delete. So now that we've got our, uh, we've got our, the clip we would like. Let's start by adding some text into it. So click on this T here and select a text. I'm going to select um, the boogie lights, just to spice some things up. You can add it to your entire project, which is, if you've got a short project, it's likely to add to the whole thing. But you can resize it by uh, the following. You can drag and place it into the area you would like it to be. Say I want it to be while this clip is playing. 